Hey friends, namaste and welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so we are on the Ajax series and we have completed many things. As you can see, we have this add button. So we can add a new item. So I will say new add item and you can see the page is not refreshed but the div is refreshed okay and similarly we can obviously delete the item from here so I will delete it here it is and you can see it's not in the list and we have completed these things in our last five series uh, five videos I think so now it's time for our next video and in this episode we are going to create the edit part that means we are going to edit this uh, item that means if we want it's not fifth if we want let's say fifth okay and when I click save changes it will save as it as a fifth item okay so let's see how we will do these things so obviously I will go to my sublime okay and here I will say I will go to the resources folder in the resources folder there's a views folder in the views folder there's a list dot blade dot php as we have created and you can see we have this button save changes button with the ID of save changes we want the click event of that save changes button so obviously like any other I will just copy and paste it here so I will just press Control shift and D okay and with this you can see I will have here save changes dot click event and when it clicked I want to get the data from the input box that means I want to check what's the ID of that input box that is add item so now here I will say add item so what I will do here obviously <laughs> so I will say here add item and I will say here let's say value okay so now we have the value of that item okay and obviously for editing we want the ID of that item so let's see we have this hidden field where is that it, it's here hidden field which has the ID of that item and obviously we have that ID from this inside this var ID variable we have grabbed the ID from our hidden input box okay so we have ID we have value and we have the post request here but not with the delete we want to say let's say update so obviously we does not have then any update route so let's quickly create that route so I will go here the web.php and hi I will say here obviously I will say control D control D so it will select both of the delete and I will say here update okay and save changes now I will go to my controller inside app HTTP controllers and list controller so here is the list controller and inside list controller I will create a new function so I will say public function and function name will be delete okay and obviously as it's a post request so I will say request dollar request okay so now here for checking I will just return dollar request all okay so here we have now what I want I want to just comment this out oh not this one this line and I want to check whether we are getting the data or not so I will go here again refresh the page here and I will say here edit not add so let's say I want to say ninth one I want to edit this so I will say ninth okay so now I will just click save changes but before that I will open my console so here's our console and now I will click on the save changes button let's see what happened so we here we are 
and we have clicked and we get the data from our controller so you can see we have the id we have the token and we does not have the value that's the important thing so let's see why we are not getting the value so that's because we have not posted value so let's just post the value also so i will say value is equal to value that's good refresh the page it's don't want to change anything because we are not actually saving the changes so let's just see we have the value also and now i will go to my list controller here i will say simple thing i will just get id from sorry i will get item from id so i will say find with request of id okay so i am getting the id okay and now what i will do i will say item item is equal to request um, value we have okay and after that item save and you can see this is the same processor we do when we are creating new item but now we have the instance of that item by finding with the id and instead of that item inside our this variable and now we are updating this same processor the same process is used for uh, creating also and also for updation okay so these are very nice things so you don't have to remember many of the things okay so let's see if we get the same result that means our updation part has done let's go here refresh the page I will say here uh, ninth save changes and we get here that means when I refresh the page I will get ninth okay but obviously we want again to refresh the div so I will go here and catch this line from here okay oops oh I think we have yeah and just uncomment this but now when I say click on the save changes we want to dismiss the model so I will go at the top get this here from here paste it here and it's done so let's see again so I will change this one so 10th okay save changes and yep we have this changes here but one thing I think we are getting wrong what is that when I click here you can see it has these many lines that means the blank spaces are here we want to trim that thing okay so we can do this thing we can just grab this whole thing inside a trim so I will say trim and you can see I am getting the uh, suggestions because I have installed the jQuery package for sublime so I will say just same thing and I will delete each of these thing and now when I hit refresh click on the 10th and you can see again we are getting that means our trim is not working so what we have to do no 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 our trim will work when we save the change so let's save the changes save changes here now go to 10th and again it's getting this I think this is because um, we have to make trim here when I click on add new not not add new our item so where we have we have here I will say let's say var text is equal to dollar dot trim and a string will be again text so it will be nice so I have to delete one of the dollar dot I think it's nice now click here click anywhere and you can see now the string is trimmed 
okay now save changes click here again and we have trimmed everything okay so we have completed successfully the ajax series and next thing i want to show you i have promised you something extra so the extra is obviously let's say if someone does not have typed anything so let's say i am not typing anything inside here let's add new item so you can see it's not adding so that's the error we are getting here and but it's okay for now but obviously we want to show a message here so what i will say when i click on the add new button so add button so if if text is equal to nothing then i want to alert that please type anything for item it's just anything you want okay so obviously and else what i can say i will do these things okay that's good and now hit refresh okay and now i will add item and you can see we are getting please type anything for item and we are here okay so this is the thing we i want to show you okay so i think i want to give you an extra thing so the next video will have a unique thing and you will know when you will watch the next video i'm not going to uh, tell you what will be the uh, the functionality i'm going to add in this to do list project but but i'm sure that you will like that functionality okay so now it's time to say bye bye but before that if you have any problem please comment me if you have any problem in your project you can feel free to comment me and message me on twitter facebook instagram and also whatsapp okay you can follow me on facebook to get the latest news related to bit films and obviously the source code for each and every um video will be found on the description of the video or you can visit my website bitfumes.com slash blog okay so please follow me don't forget to subscribe and we will meet in the next episode till then bye bye